So I pissed off probation and I pissed him off so much, I may not be able to hire anybody else on probation. See, I had a guy come and apply for a job with me. During the interview, he let me know he was on probation. And I said, that's not a problem. Just get me a copy of your restrictions. And he did. And whenever he got me a copy of his restrictions, it became painfully clear that probation really doesn't want him to have a job. See, on the weekends, Saturday and Sunday, he is prohibited from leaving the house at all. Not to go to work, not to go to the grocery store, nothing. He's on lockdown. Now, Monday through Friday, he can only leave the house between 7 a.m. and 7 p.m. And you would think that that would set him up for success, but not really. Because on Monday, he had a 10 o'clock appointment with probation. On Wednesday, he had a noon appointment. And on Friday, he had a two o'clock appointment. That means throughout the entire course of the week, the only days that he could work full time was Tuesdays and Thursdays. Now, I took his list of references and called his previous employers. And whenever I talked to them, they said he's a great employee. They just couldn't deal with his restrictions from probation. So I thought to myself, I said, this seems a little unfair. So I picked up the phone and called our company attorney and I let her review the restrictions that he was under. And she also looked up his criminal history and his probation. And she about lost her freaking mind. See, one thing you have to know about our company attorney is she is aggressive and that's putting it lightly. So I agreed after he'd been with the company for about 30 days to have our attorney reach out and see if she could get these restrictions loosened a little bit. But the way it came across to probation was that I had hired an attorney to fight them on behalf of my employee, which I have no problem with them viewing it that way, except that's not what really happened. I just asked her to look into it. Well, looking into it turned into a little bit of a fight because probation basically told her to fuck off and they had no desire in lowering his restrictions at all. So she basically told him, I'll see you in court. And she did. And she won. So now probation is pissed at me because I paid for the attorney that beat them in court. Now, I don't know anything for sure, but I've heard some rumors that they're just gonna make it to where none of their probationers can work for me. So my question is, in situations like this, do you believe that probation should have the authority to tell one of their people you can't work there just because they have a personal grievance against me? Let me know in the comments.